Hello everyone. We are treating for varroa mites using the oxalic acid dribble technique today. Also, this is the 56th day that our APVAR strips were put in, so they're coming out as well. Oxalic acid uh, dribble formulation, oxalic acid with sugar syrup, is uh, pretty effective on uh, mites uh, in the phoretic stage when they're on the outside of the bee. And so we treat it one time in the winter, usually around December 1st, and uh, the mites are exposed to the acid and it kills them. They drop off and hit the bottom board. When working with oxalic acid, it is best to use uh, safety equipment such as uh, eye protection, the organic respirator, and uh, nitrile gloves. The uh, acid is, uh, is corrosive, uh, especially when mixed with water. With uh, pre-weighed ingredients, the mixing goes pretty quickly. Add oxalic acid crystals to uh, hot water and uh, stir. And long before the water comes to a boil, the oxalic acid crystals dissolve. As soon as they're dissolved, uh, add the sugar, uh, turn off the heat and stir. And uh, this recording is in real time. So you'll see that uh, the entire preparation occurs in less than, uh, less than a minute. It's always a good idea to label anything that you make up in the shop. Uh, this year we're running about 70 bee yards. These colonies and this particular yard is used primarily for research. The tailgate on the pickup truck in the background there is our workbench in the field. It's a perfect height. And we apply smoke to both colonies on the pallet before we pull the tarps off. Those are uh, vinyl tarps with a polypropylene liner and a one inch fiber fill in between. We, we sew them up ourselves and make them during the winter time. Hive stands are 14 to 16 inches. These are 16 inches, which seems to be a perfect height for a uh, for a beekeeper, so you're not uh, bending down and straining your back constantly. Uh, again, we're removing the APVAR strips today, so to do so, we pull the feeder out and um, open up the frames where the strips are so that uh, there's space to remove the strip so that when the strip is removed, we're not uh, rolling bees in and hurting bees. And uh, like handling the oxalic acid, uh, because APVAR has a chemical on it, Amitraz, it's a good idea to wear nitrile gloves as well. Or, or the beekeeper leather gloves works just fine. The oxalic acid is dribbled onto the bees using a veterinary syringe. And there'll be more on that a little bit later on in this presentation. If there are bees on the inner cover, it's a good idea to knock them off onto the cluster so that the treatment 
the treatment of oxalic acid and sugar solution gets on all of the bees. It's a great idea when you're doing this winter um, oxalic acid dribble to check the bottom board because if the bottom board is wet, that can be really harmful to the bees, create a, uh, encourage fungal growth inside the colony. So this bottom board is dry. So the video here will show you that uh, there's no moisture on the bottom. It's nice and dry. There's bees crawling around on there. Uh, also, it's nice to see a full frame of honey, which is a uh, feed for the winter. There's probably four or five frames of honey in that box as well. Those uh, tarps are uh, really good, super handy. They could be a little bit longer uh, so that they cover more towards the entrance, but uh, they, with that one bungee cord on there on a hook, they, they hold down in the strongest windstorm. They're great and the bees are warm. They're actually hot inside there in the spring. In uh, this yard, uh, two colonies had uh, water in the bottom board pallets. This is one of them. And I just want to uh, show, uh, show what it looks like and how to deal with it. To make sure water drains, you have to level a pallet or tip it slightly forward. Easiest way is to add some uh, some uh, rocks to the back uh, legs or to scoop out the ground in front with your hive tool. This colony has a high population, so uh, we're applying quite a bit of smoke to get the bees moving so that uh, we can separate the frames of the hive tool without uh, damaging bees. The oxalic acid and sugar syrup solution is applied directly on the bees between the frames. They call it uh, seams. That space between the frames are seams. Uh, five mils per seam to a maximum of 50 mils per colony. And uh, it takes a lot of practice. Uh, a little bit later on, there'll be a close up of applying uh, syrup uh, and oxalic acid to the bees.
It's a good idea to practice uh, applying syrup beforehand using uh, water and an empty colony. A yard of uh, 24 colonies would take about 30 minutes. Thank you very much for watching and please feel free to leave a comment below.